Hi guys, welcome to Groovy Me. You may have a whole list of ideas already floating around your head that you need to put in one place. Well, that's where a wedding mood board or inspiration board or theme board comes in. And in this video, you will know how to create a mood board for your wedding. Okay, quick disclaimer, it's not a fashion inspiration mood board or for any client work. This is for brides, bridesmaids or even wedding guests. And now, let's get started. Okay, first let's understand why mood board is important. First, it's ideal for keeping track of your wedding dress ideas. Second, it helps to communicate your vision with your designers or shopkeepers. Third, much easier for you as well to make any decision. And lastly, you can feel and visualize your wedding look better. Whether it's looking cohesive or not, whether it's your vibe or not, etc. Now let's start with that five step process. The first two points are interrelated. One, save the images and two, write down the elements you love. So you need to scroll through Insta, Pinterest and some of your favorite designers Insta pages. If you want to know which designer will suit your test better, then don't forget to follow me because I'll make a full fledged video on that. Next, see which color palette you like more, whether it's timeless reds and pinks or nude speeches or more of earthy tones. And if you want to know which are the trendiest lehenga designs for this year 2023, then check out my this video. You will get to know everything. Okay, disclaimer number two, please set a budget as well and then find the outfits accordingly aligned with your budget. Okay, now moving forward. The first was color palette and the next is fabric, whether it's Nate, Banarasi, Silk, Georgette or anything. Next, check what's the silhouette, its fall, its shape. Save the images or write down every element that you love. Third can be the blouse designs, whether it's full sleeve, cut out choli, designer sleeves, corset blouse or off shoulder. What do you like better? Up next can be the embroidery, types of handwork like gota patti, mirror work, sequence, pearl work, etc. Check which draws your attention more. So the decor also plays a vital role here and let me know in the comment section below do you want a video on how to match your wedding dress with your decor and venue or not. You can go through the designers insta pages like Manish Malhotra, Sabra Sachi, Tarun Dhaliani, Falguni Shan Peacock, uh, Shamal Bhumika, Amit Agarwal and Avinav Mishra, how can I forget him? There are others as well and look for pieces that resemble your sense of style. Everything you like, continue to save and screenshot them. The third step is make separate boards for different occasions. Like maybe the first dress you want to decide is for your wedding day. Then first do the research for that day only. Then maybe for your reception, haldi, mehendi and so on. I'll show you one example in some time so you will get to understand better. And for that watch till the very end and I promise these tips will help you a lot. Fourth step is merge them together and finally make the board. At this point, you will realize by yourself what your vision is. Okay, so sorry for the different setup. I forgot to record this part, like the example. So this is the mood board that I created for a Mehendi function, okay? Here you can see I have merged all the pictures that I loved and my color palette was lavender, okay? This purple or lavender color is so unique and looks very royal. So I think if anyone chooses this color for her Mehendi, it will look Damn good. In the right hand side, you can see the color palette. So the first picture is of Aditi Rao. I have written the elements whatever I liked, like the scallop border for dupatta or for the lehenga skirt as well. The next is work on dupatta. Then silver or gold work. If your preference is silver, you can write that I want this designs, but I want the color to be silver or gold. Whatever you are thinking, just write. So for me, my preference was either silver or gold. Next is I want this kind of zardosi work on it. If you want, you know, white pearl work, that that will also look good. The second board I created for the blouse design. So for the first image, I wrote the blouse neckline. And for the second photo, I wrote jali pattern. So if you like this kind of jali pattern in your skirts, you can write it here. Then is the blouse bag design. These are the options that you can, uh, you know, add to your boards. And the next point I added is the makeup and the hairstyle. So for the fourth picture, I've written that loose curls and neutral makeup. Because this purple color is so rich and vibrant, if you go with a more natural makeup and loose curls that will look so perfect so this way you can create your boards for your wedding haldi and you know cocktail party or any occasion this board can do wonders even if you are custom designing your outfits give it to your designer for better understanding okay at this point i want to tell you don't get overwhelmed with so many designs colors and everything 
keep the process simple and don't over complicate things. Take your own sweet time to make these boards as this can guide you a lot while shopping. And there you can save a lot of time. Okay, the last point is always keep a backup plan. Because it's your D-Day guys, you need a backup plan for sure. You can even be confused with two options. So go to the designer's place or showroom, try it on there and then decide. Maybe you do not know which color will suit your skin tone better. So wear them and then decide. Most of us prefer physical shopping, at least for the brides. And that's the right way I feel. Because it's your big day and there is no scope for messing things up. Until and unless you are living abroad and someone else is doing the virtual shopping for you, it's better to physically go there and try. Always believe your eyes, look into the mirror and see what's making you feel prettier. And without any doubt, just go for that. So that was the five step process for creating your wedding mood board. Now, if you want to know about the color theory, which color will look best on you according to your skin tone and skin undertone, watch out my next videos, which are coming out soon. And once they're live, I'll link them in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such fashion videos and comment down below. If you like all these tips, I'll be happy to reply you all. Bye guys.